so it's 6 36 a.m i woke up at 6 i took a shower and now i'm getting ready i'm not gonna show you guys my outfit yet but i'm doing my makeup so yeah this is what the skin is looking like she's giving nothing but pimples no i'm kidding but i'm gonna go ahead and get ready and then i'll show you guys before i leave i'm so excited and nervous so i know i started filming you know beforehand i got ready you know i was like oh my god i'm gonna vlog like my first week and this is how intense sonography school can get like really quickly um that didn't happen i immediately you know when i came home started doing like all my homework and stuff these are some notes this is just one of my notebooks from one of my classes and these are the notes that i took we've already started scanning and such so this over here is going to be like the abdominal aorta this is like one of the required images that i like drew out to kind of know for like a test and these are my notes this is just for one course this is for actually my um lab principles and protocols so this is the class that i scan for but it's intense um yeah <laughs> i'll get more into that in a little bit but sonography school is intense it's worth it um in my opinion you know it's intense i have to say i'm a student to where if i wasn't interested in something i wouldn't put my time and effort into it if i'm being honest but this is something that i'm very passionate about and interested in so i really do put my time and effort into it that's why my notes are so detailed i highlight certain things i have things written in different pen inks because i'm it's for different um things you know i, I do it on purpose so that it's stimulating to my mind so that i don't get bored and so that i retain the information um but yeah so this is just a little bit and like i said this is for one class and currently i'm taking six classes five of them are on right now the sixth one doesn't start until october so this is giving you a gist this is just one course so yeah i have something for like knobology so you know this is running the knob so like you know you have freeze and sign loop print depth control focal zone overall gain tgc Our first scanning plane is the sagittal plane, also called longitudinal. A transverse, B sagittal, C coronal, D oblique. I'm gonna go with B sagittal. The plane that divides the body into the left and right half was B sagittal plane in the question above. So on this day, basically as you see, I just came home and was studying. I took a whole bunch of notes. I wanted to show that I like to change the color of my pens because for me different well in general different colors um, stimulate the mind so I know that let's say colors like pink and purple when I write with that I can retain the information better so that's how I write my notes but yeah just writing down notes for some of my first few lectures and yeah so I wanted to show you guys like a few of the books that I have so far. So this is going to be the Sonography Scran Scranning? Uh, scanning and Protocols. And then I also have like the textbook of Diagnostic Medical Sonography. This is the 8th edition. I have volumes 1 and 2. And then I also have the workbook to go with it. That's what I'm currently doing my work in now. This comes in handy. It's a little hard. It's a lot. But it comes in handy when you really want to learn and retain info. It has some great... Um, exercises in here to learn your vocab and everything so 
I really recommend this workbook, if anything, out of the three that I've shown you. I also have the physics book that I'll show you guys. I don't feel like getting up. I don't feel like getting up, but yeah. This is what I'm doing. It is currently... Hey, Alexa. What time is it? It's 7 20 so this is how i'm ending my night i'm watching a podcast on my tv let me show you guys like a different angle so this is my bed this is my tv i'm watching a new podcast and um yep that is me this is me this is my life now it's almost nine and i'm tired but um i'm just determined like i really want to do well so this is what I'm doing right now. I have my really pretty pencil. But um, yeah, it's a lot. Um, your girl is struggling a little bit. I mean, I'm finding the answers that I need to, but sometimes they're not as like clear or as like in your face as others are. So you assume they're gonna be in your face like the others are, but they're not, and that's fine. Um, you know, it's just been it's it's a it's a really packed first week. Um but i'm happy that it's like that because then within like a few weeks or months like it won't feel as overwhelming or if it is i'm already used to the workload so okay so i haven't vlogged in a little a long week today is saturday september 4th and it's labor day weekend so there's no class on monday we start our online class meeting tuesday and then i go to campus wednesday um, but I have a lot of stuff to do. I basically have stuff to do in each class. I already did. So let's say I, have, I think I have five, six classes. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> um, but for my cross-sectional anatomy class, that's online. And I already did that. Right now, I'm doing my physics course, which I hate physics. So I like to get it done, like, first. Because me and physics, we don't. But I got to understand it, you know? So I'm doing that right now. I have stuff to do for my scanning protocols lab, which would be like my workbook, which the workbook is so helpful. That comes with that um, volume one and two book. The workbook is so helpful. And then I also, for my OBGYN sonography class, which I want to focus in on OBGYN. So we went over some of it in class, but I decided to go back to the beginning of like chapter 41 and um, take notes. And then I'm gonna do chapter 42 on Monday. I'm spreading myself like, I'm spreading myself pretty good like throughout the weekend so I don't feel too overwhelmed. So today, um, according to my planner, my goal was to, my goal was to do the OBGYN chapter 41 and 42, but I realized I wrote it for Monday, so I just split it. And then also do physics unit two. So I wrote out the chapter equations and then I did these textbook questions. Now I'm doing, the overall um unit questions and yeah so here are they this is the um chapter equations up here so we have like um intensity like the reciprocal we have like wavelength speed so yeah that's just what i'm doing i had some bus and breakfast but I ate it. But I should show you. I'm going to put a picture of it because it was so damn good. I had to. Um, but yeah, this is what my bed is looking like. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on like with the physics stuff. Because um, like I said, I like to do it um, first <laughs> so that I'm not last minute like stressing. Because like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of physics. And I just want to make sure that I'm understanding to where I need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then... I have a day planned out. It is my boyfriend's birthday, so I hope to see him today. I saw him yesterday, like, did some stuff yesterday. So yesterday was, like, a day off for me in regards to school. So that's why I knew this morning I woke up at 7.30. It's 10.12 now.
Okay, so it is now 10, 18 a.m. I am finished what, with what I wanted to do today. I wanted to do my OBGYN chapter 41 to go over, and I wanted to make sure that I got good notes. And then I wanted to do my physics unit too. So I wrote out the chapter equations. I did textbook pages 25 to 26, which were like mid chapter questions. And then I did the end of chapter, like end of unit questions from page 41 to 46. So I did that. So it took me about like three and a half hours, four hours, which is fine. Um, yeah, like three and a half. Um, I am going to just, I'm sorry. Like I'm dreading doing chapter 42 because that thing is like 22 pages. But I might just start going through chapter 2, I mean 42, I don't know. Um, yeah, I might start going through like chapter 42 or something, I don't know. I kind of just want to chill, I really don't want to do like too, too much. Um, I mean, honestly, even though it's my reference birthday, I'm probably going to be bringing like one of my textbooks over. I either may bring my textbook to do OBGYN chapter 42 or to start for like my mm, my lab class because I got a lot of um, yeah I don't know I don't know I don't know but I am gonna get ready I kind of want to show you guys like how I balance like school work and like regular life but um, I'll be honest like I feel like my personal life is like almost non-existent I really had to like take a full day off like friday which was yesterday to get dedicated to what i wanted to do i had to make sure i had like everything done like this past week i had my first scanning test it was the aorta protocol scanning test so you go through aorta and sagittal and then transverse and we were graded on that i don't know what i got on it yet if i know I'll let you know because like I was really studying for it. Uh, I have a video of me like Hey, future Nikki here. So it is now September 9th and I'm editing this video. So this was from September 4th and I got my grade back yesterday on my scanning exam and I did get a 90. So I did get an A woo -woo, on my first scanning exam. And I just wanted to let you guys know because I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm bragging. I can't lie. I'm bragging. What? Whatever. But yeah, studying for it. and then afterwards when we finished that we started pancreas actually already so um and that's something that i need to get into my other stuff but i just want to finish like this week's stuff out you know and then move on to that but um it's a lot it's a lot but yeah i'll show you guys like i i you know i'm trying to have a personal life especially this weekend i was like you know what like i got my stuff done during the week you know i do have homework but we have a pretty long weekend so i was like i'm gonna spread it out a certain way because i'll go insane if i just let it pile on my head and do it at one time like i can't like i just i physically mentally emotionally spiritually i can't so um yeah like i'll show you guys like kind of like all right like you know She's in school, she has a personal life, she's stressing. Oh my god, I'm actually hella breaking out. I'm stressing that bad. It's not that, it's just a lot of information to intake, you know. Um, we're not only going over anatomy, we're going over like the physics aspect and we're learning um, like different equations for like wavelength and frequency and sound of speed or speed of sound, speed of sound, sound of speed, wow. Um, and like, uh, and we just started scanning and then I had my first like protocol scanning test w within the first week, which is fine, or the second week, which is fine, um, but it's just a lot, you know? So I'm trying to kind of figure everything out. Um, I'm obviously not posting on YouTube as much anymore because uh, my free time, if I'm not physically, in class at school or physically at work I'm doing homework I'm reading I'm watching videos on YouTube um, or like certain lectures to like gain a better understanding of what we're learning so that I'm making sure I'm digesting the information properly like it's a lot and you know I knew that but um it's a lot but I finished what I wanted to do for today which I'm kind of shook about and that's why I'm like okay she has more time 
but I do have plans but I'm going to probably like bring along my book just because that's how I am now every time I like hang out with my boyfriend I have at least two textbooks with me in my workbook and like one or two journals like that's just that because I don't want to fall behind I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my time that I feel like I could be studying you know so it's all about balance and I'm still learning that but yeah so I guess I'll show y'all like if I get cute or whatever so it's not all just like study 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 I mean it really mainly is but learning that perfect balance to make sure that your mental health is doing good is really important because if your mental health isn't doing that good I can guarantee you're not going to retain information properly and like it's not just going to end up well for you so you really have to focus on yourself and on your studies um in order to kind of succeed and that's what i've been kind of learning as i'm going through it so but it's okay i'm so blessed and so happy to be in this program but it is a lot it's a lot but yeah this is your reminder wash your face okay we may be in school we may be oh my goodness like girl wash your face because look your girl started breaking out. I'm gonna use my Dermalogica Active Clay Cleanser. This one helps with um, breakouts and everything because of the Gutricol, and it helps balance the skin as well and um, absorb excess oil, which I really like about this one. So this is the one that I'm gonna use. Hold on, this, every time I come in here, I love filming in here sometimes because like the plant aesthetic. But yes, um, I'm going to get started for my day. I'm going to bring my abdomen, well, my abdominal sonography book and um, notebook with me so that, you know, when I have like downtime, wherever I am, I'll just go ahead and knock out some chapter notes because um, that's mainly what I have to do. I have to read like three or four chapters in it. So that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I'm going to start off today by washing my face because um, my skincare routine non-existent with school especially with sonography school i'm like wow i literally eat sonography and sleep and repeat anyways i'm gonna wash my face it's a really good cleanser i only use it like once a week um maybe twice let's say if i have like stuff like this but yeah, I'm going to go in with my Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum so that we're brightening and evening skin tone just like the cleanser also helps with hyperpigmentation and gives you the right amount of hydration without making you like too oily. So that's why I don't mind using this specific oil when I'm breaking out. Yeah, let's flourish guys. Let's let's become RDMS of its like. Today is Monday, August 6th. I'm doing some stuff. I'm doing stuff for OBGYN, Sano. Um, campus is closed today, but the work doesn't stop. So I'm going through chapters, taking notes. I think that, I think in general, you know, sonography school is really reading, taking notes, and also applying what you learned to your actual ultrasound exams. But I think in like the first, like, few, um, weeks or even like months like it's gonna be a lot of like book work reading making sure that you have like the basics down for certain things so this is like one of my first assignments for my OBGYN class so um and OBGYN is what I want to get like my certifications in so I'm really trying to focus in on it um I'm really just mainly highlighting in my book and then um I'm writing down like important um vocab words are also important little notes um like the this one right here like this chapter is telling me about like transvaginal or transabdominal ultrasound so i kind of been writing down like the steps so that by the time we are starting those labs and beginning to you know practice scanning that i kind of have that down like or like at least the protocol for a transabdominal versus transvaginal exam so that i don't have to like you know relearn that as i'm going i mean either way it's fine but yeah so i'm just doing that and then your girl's gonna get her eyebrows done because they're bushy and i deserve um and i'm pretty on schedule for everything so i have the time to like kind of like lay back and like go and do what i need to do so i'm gonna just go ahead i'm gonna try to finish this chapter i have about an hour until i'm gonna go um this chapter is 20 pages so as of right now i have 
like 15 more pages um so wish me luck but yeah let me show you guys my setup because it's really cute shout out to my sister for having a cute office so this is my setup wake pray slay daily dose if i need it this is my planner and then this is for my OBGYN class like if I'm taking notes as of right now I'm just highlighting and if I feel the need to really jot something down that I don't feel like I should just highlight but do both I do that I do that so yeah this is my setup this is my bag filled shout out to my baby for getting me my bag and yeah this is my this is my setup the grind don't stop <laughs> all right let's get back to this Okay, so hi. Today is Tuesday, the 7th of September. It's 11:40 in the morning. We just had like our first um Zoom meeting for our cross-sectional anatomy course cuz that one's just strictly online. Um and that was just, you know, a little two truths and a lie, a little cutesy thing. And now I am back to working on my lab class. So, um Tomorrow in class, we're going to start our liver protocol, but for reading, we're reading about the female pelvis, and we also did, um, I want to say it was the gallbladder, or it was the pancreas scanning protocol as well, because we scanned the pancreas a little bit last week, um, so yeah, I may, I'm skimming over some videos of the liver scanning protocol, because, you know, we learned the protocol once we get into class, you know, it's written down on the board, like sagittal transverse, and then we kind of practice finding it for our um, scanning test, which for the liver is going to be the 20th. So we'll have some time to practice it. But um, yeah, so I'm just like kind of doing that kind of multitasking. But um, yeah, I think that I'm going to end the vlog here so this in a nutshell was the first week or basically kind of two weeks in sonography school um it's a lot and um i'm learning how to kind of navigate it i'm learning how to retain information properly when it comes to this i'm learning how to um use my time wisely for each class class each homework that i have each reading chapter that i have to do so um, I'll definitely like keep you guys updated because I think it's hard you know I, I knew that it was going to be difficult I didn't think it would be this difficult because I feel like I'm learning about so many different parts of the body in one, at one time and um, it's kind of overwhelming but I think as time goes on like you know I'm already starting to get used to it but I'll continue to get used to it but yeah um I don't want to lie and say like oh my god it's easy it's just cake like a lot of people like to say like yeah you're just scanning the body like this that like you have to know the body like the back of your hand you feel me to know what you're scanning so it takes time and it takes practice but um I'm gonna do it and if you want to do it you can do it too so thank you guys so much for watching um I think that I want to like vlog a little bit when I do clinicals of course not like actually probably in there or obviously when I'm with the patient you know but I mean like you know when we start doing clinicals and what I'm learning and stuff like I definitely want to kind of take you guys along the journey and so that when I'm older and um when I finally <laughs> become a registered sonographer I can look back at like my time in school and be like oh my god girl you did that like you got this you know so Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more school related contact, contact, content, specifically sonography school related content. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to get back to the makeup videos too, because that's like my woosah from this all, but I haven't really had time, but thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment down below. Any video ideas you want in regards to sonography school, you feel me? Let me know and subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!
if you're down to roll up Hit me, I know I side by me 